everybody? Welcome back to another episode of BS for Build. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. It is a uh, it is a shop tour. It's the garage tour. I've got the majority of all of my cars all together for the first time, and I'm going to show you through them. There's been a lot of people that have joined since the GTR and the Lambo. We've got a lot of cool builds that we've done, and we got a lot of plans for those builds to continue to to evolve. And I can't wait to show you all about them. Build review. and show you these cars. I want to take a second out to thank our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community with over 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. I myself was never a huge fan of the classroom setting, so something like Skillshare where you can learn online at your own pace and have tons of different resources available to help you along the way, it's just a great tool. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join all the classes and the communities that you need that are the right fit for you so you can reach your goals. In the past, I've checked out their courses on videography and cinematography to help with the YouTube channel, but currently I've been super nerding out on 3D printing and I've been jumping into a lot of courses on 3D printing so I can ramp up on that before we start in a, on the channel. So whether you're just looking to feel your curiosity and your creativity or you're looking to start an entire new career, Skillshare is the place for you to keep learning and keep thriving. So join the over 7 million creators learning using Skillshare today. Guys, Skillshare has given away to the first 500 of you that click the link in the description below. They're going to give you a free two-month trial and your annual subscription starts at just 10 bucks a month after that. So guys, hit the link in the description. Get started today. Now, let me show you some cars. A lot of cars. So many cars to review. All right guys, welcome to the 2019 Bees for Build garage update. Here are some of the cars that we have here at the shop um, and uh, I'll tell you guys all about what's going on with each one of these and there are quite a few that I still have at home and at the end of that I'll kind of clue you in on those and I'm gonna let you know about all the cars that I have and the ones that we have sold. First up is our 370Z. Uh, this was supposed to be my drift build. I've been way too busy so we have suspension to put on here. We have a hydro e-brake to put on here. We have some work to do to this thing to take it before we take it drifting. I've just been super busy so I really haven't even had time to go drifting and uh, so we just daily drive it around once in a while next up is Jenkins this is our <laughs> world's first off-road vet cart build uh, we built this car in about one week we had a lot of fun doing it XOK okay, dripped the whole body off we bought a crashed uh, C5 Corvette so still powered by a naturally aspirated uh, LS1 up front manual transmission um, some 33 inch off-road tires I believe the interior is still covered in dust uh, from the gambler this is fresh off the gambler 500 we basically uh, threw it under tarps and and kept it kept it clean uh, it still runs great everything's functioning great but we did jump it on the gambler and we bent the frame that frame was a little that side of the frame was a little bent already and then we bent this side a little bit more so it's pretty unhappy frame wise uh, the future for this thing is if I do decide to race it in Baja what we would be doing is uh, rebuilding those rear frame rails and uh, redesigning all the suspension so we could have some long travel external uh, reservoir suspension on this thing just some big off-road suspension that they normally run on like a Baja truck uh, that's what we would put on here and our wing broke on impact so I'd get another wing our carbon fiber has dulled out the, the clear on the carbon fiber has died on most of our carbon fiber bits which is really sad uh, so anyways yeah that's that's what's up with Jenkins um, it is street legal though and we have registration so we're definitely gonna be driving it a little bit this summer I'm going to jump around on you guys so you don't know which one's coming up next. This is a Aston Martin VA Vantage parked halfway into a bush just to look good. Uh, so this is our this is our VA Vantage. I bought it and started building it, rebuilding it because I wanted to have uh, I wanted to make this a drift car. Once I started driving it, I decided it yeah, really bad, really bad choice of car for a drift car. Uh, and, I, and I really like the car. So this is my favorite kind of GT, my Grand Touring car. Well, the GTR has taken over, but previous to the GTR, this was my favorite car to just jump in and go on a really long road trip. So all we've been doing so far is just maintaining it um, you know well not the greatest of maintenance this this stuff has got cancer and keeps falling the paint keeps falling off of it but other than that it's it's also a manual which is really nice beautiful beautiful interior and uh, looks good inside and out and so I just you know kind of drive it a little bit upgrades for this is uh, we're gonna do new paint on this thing thing sometime in the future um, and it's gonna lose the giant rear wing in the back there that that is that's that's time has run its course but other than that I think I'd just like to clean it up and see it with some new paint and maybe some new exhaust and uh, oh yeah I want to build a grill for the front here 
the Lamborghini Huracan uh, is parked way too close to everything. It makes me makes me really nervous. What's uh, what's left on this thing? So it's going to paint in one week. That's the biggest update. Uh, it's going to paint in one week, and then we'll get it back a week and a half later. I found a shop that's in Oregon, so I'm actually super excited about that. Um, and uh, we've got a couple parts on order. We need a new driver's side window, so we're getting that on order. And most of the other stuff is just small brackets and stuff like that. So paint, getting those brackets, getting that window replaced, and then we're going to road trip this thing down to California, get all our airbags reset and the whole car rearmed. And we should be really close to having a, we need a couple under trays as well, but then that's going to wrap out the build for a totally completed Huracan. Jumping over to the Evora. The Evora build is one of our most intense kind of long-term builds that we've ever done on the channel. This was a complete rebuild. This thing rolled over and had to have pretty much every single body part, you know, rebuilt or replaced. If you guys want to see, that was, that was a couple years back when we were still learning a lot of stuff, but it's a really, really fun time on the channel and we gained a lot of knowledge from back then. And this car has stood up the test of time. It's been really great. So Chelsea crashed her M5 and she's been driving this daily uh, for, you know, about a month now. We're waiting to get some time to work on the M5. Um, and it's, it's just been going really, really great. If you guys don't remember, it's a automatic transmission, which is kind of a, I, I wish it was a manual, but you get what you get. Automatic transmission, nice little uh, Toyota V6 there in the back, mid-engine, um, fantastic, fantastic car. It looks, it looks really good. That's one thing that just always surprises me when I get it out and I get it cleaned up is how good it looks. Like say compared to a Lamborghini, they both look exotic, they both look different. And I really, really like that about this car. I think, I mean, the looks are great and it's super, super daily drivable, which I love and you don't ever have to worry about it you can beat the crap out of it because it's just a Toyota V6 and you can replace one for like next to nothing so yeah the the Lotus the Evora has been doing really really well it could use some maintenance some some touch-up I, I would love to have it just the whole the whole thing professionally repainted someday um, maybe someday soon actually uh, we'll see how the Lambo paint job goes first but I, I like the white color I don't really want to change that but it's just get you know over the years it's getting some rock chips it's getting some other stuff in it we've put um, I think we put about seven or eight or nine thousand miles on this car since since we bought it but it, this one stays with me at my house normally because like i said it's chelsea's daily driver while the m5 is uh, waiting to be worked on so we use it a lot i almost forgot about the m5 so we rebuilt the m5 we gave it to chelsea that was her car she's been using it daily driving it and stuff like that and then uh, she fender bendered uh, somebody uh, totaling their car fender bendering the m5 and now i guess i gotta fix it but i'm gonna try and fix it soon because i don't want her putting miles on the evora anymore so it'll be on the channel you know before too long Next up, the GTR. This thing has got a lot, a lot of stuff that I need to update you guys on. So there's been a, this. This has been a car that I obviously really, really liked, but I haven't been able to use it because the title is invalid. The title that I got from Copart is invalid. I've been working with Copart to get me a valid title, and to be honest, they're not doing a very good job at helping me out, and I can't really do much myself. So I've been very, very stuck. My temporary registration ran out on this car, so I can't drive it on the street anymore, which is a really, really big bummer. And uh, I'm, I'm. I'm kind of stuck. So I just continue to keep calling, continue to keep bugging people and keep working at it my best. But in the meantime, there's been a bunch of cool stuff and I've actually bought some really cool upgrades for this thing. So our wing is still missing. That thing's at my brother's house. I gotta go get it back. Our wheels are in. So we have our other two, three piece wheels that we need to put on this car. Um, so those will go on sometime soon. And you guys remember when I did this donut right here? <laughs> that you're not supposed to do with all wheel drive cars and I wasn't really, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know guys. Anyways, uh, I busted a part of the transfer case in the transmission. So we need to drop the transmission. I promised my transmission guru that if I drop the transmission one more time, we do upgrades. So we're doing upgrades with the goal of getting this car to run nines. So I'm not gonna stop upgrading it until we do run nines. But here's the thing. We're not gonna go any further than nines because at my drag, at both the big drag strips in Oregon, once you run nines, you need to have a full roll cage and a fire suppression system, I believe. You need to have a lot of stuff and I'm not putting a roll cage in this car because if you drive a roll cage without a helmet it's pretty unsafe it's more unsafe than not having it so I'd rather be able to just daily drive this car comfortably than only drive it with a helmet on so that being said what are the upgrades we have uh, new clutches going in so we can use launch control new upgraded clutches uh, we may do a new first gear as well um, we have new turbos and we have a bigger intercooler that's still streetable but um, yeah so we're gonna get this car up to around 850 horsepower to the wheels I believe and we're gonna retard the time
timing a little bit so it doesn't push too much torque to break everything to bits. Um, and that should get us with maybe some bias ply tires and a good launch, we should be able to run a 999. And that is the goal for this car. So it's spring right now. It's like what, April? I think it's close to the end of April. Yep. Kyle's confirmed it. Uh, drag strips are probably already open. If not, they're gonna open up in March and, and I really wanna get this thing out there this summer. So soon we will have to drop the, get this car into the shop, probably into the paint booth and drop the transmission and be able to leave it there for a while until the trans comes back from being worked on and then we're gonna install the turbos and all that fun stuff. So this thing will be back on the channel for horsepower upgrades sometime soon sometime soon and last but not least the car with the longest title ever this is our 240z wide body rocket bunny v10 mid-engine swapped goodness all the cool stuff is under the hood kyle let's take the hood off so if you guys aren't familiar this is the build that we did for sema last year it wrapped up around november mid-november of 2018 and this is our 240z with a fully custom built uh frame uh that we put you know built a roll cage and then put a body on top of i really wanted to take the s85 out of a bmw m5 and put it in a 240z and we managed to find the best spot for it was actually behind the front axles which is how you get a front mid-engined uh v10 240Z. So this has a complete uh, BMW M5 uh, interior in it, except for the seats, but all the dashboard and the shifter and everything is in there, pedals, everything like that. And then obviously the engine out here, cooling systems all from the M5. And all the suspension uh, stuff is also from an M5. So this car, I, I haven't really been using a ton. Um, it's not exactly a car I just want to jump in and go to the grocery store with, but I do want to take it to the drag strip. I do want to see really how fast it is. This motor should be pushing out 500 horsepower and it's a very, very, well, well, it should be a very, very light build, but I honestly haven't weighed it or anything like that. But I, I really, really want to see what it can do. We're on air suspension right now, and to be honest, I really don't like air suspension. So that's one, that's one, the biggest change that I would like to make before we take this thing to drag strip is ditching the air suspension. And other than that, I, I would love to do a manual conversion on this. I've been looking at how we might be able to gain space for a pedal and really there isn't any space, but man, if we could do a manual conversion, that would be super, super cool. But maybe just for this summer, drag strip opens, like I said, in a couple months, I would like to get this thing out to the drag strip and see how it does. But coilovers would be first. For the cars that I got at home, you guys that have been watching for the longest, longest time, remember that I do have a 68 Camaro and I still have that car. Um, it's, I just don't have an idea of what I wanna do with it yet. So it's just been kinda hanging out, waiting for me to kinda get that light bulb moment and then we'll do it. But it's a car that's near and dear to me because we did get it on the first PS for Build road trip. So it's one of the first PS for Build cars and um, those are sentimental to me. And, and also it's numbers matching, so it's kind of valuable, but it's never really gonna skyrocket. So I've just, I'm not gonna destroy it is kind of what I'm saying. So waiting for that right idea. Next up is 2JZ BRZ, another one that's very sentimental to me because that is the first BRZ that we had on the channel. So that one's back at my house. Uh, it still runs and drives great. I actually drove it like not that long ago. Um, and I really, really enjoy the car, but it does have some weird ECU problems going on where it's limiting us. It does like a throttle cut for some reason. So that limits our horsepower. We're at about 400 to 450 wheel horsepower in that car, which feels like a rocket because it's very lightweight. Uh, but that's also, remember that's a 2JZ with a, um, manual, no, an automatic uh, transmission that came with that whole package. So I would love to do a standalone and see if that solves a problem. And then if not, I'd love to do a standalone with a manual swap. Uh, but that's another car that's not a super high priority for me right now, but I'm not getting rid of it because it is got a really special place in my heart because of where it is with the channel. So as things progress, maybe I'll take the 2JZ out and use it in something else and do something else fun with that BRZ, but it's not going away. So it's kind of just a car that I'm, I'm saving it. I'm saving it for a special day. Last car that's at my house hanging out is the Otis Mercedes, which was part of the uh, Gambler 500 builds that we did last year. Another car that was built in about a week. I just made the mistake of not going and getting it registered when it looked kind of more normal. Uh, I know my DMV will still register it, but I've been nervous to take it back also. It's just been raining a lot. So now that summer's rolling over, we're getting into summer. I'm gonna go get that thing registered and we'll do some funny videos with it. Let me know if you have any ideas of stuff you'd like to see. I know we gotta do some like fake Uber driving with it, but I don't know what else. It's gonna be, that, that's a fun one that I just like having around because I spent too much money and destroyed it too much to get rid of it. I just like looking at it. I think it's beautiful. So I just, I'm just gonna hang on to it and city drive it a little bit. Go out to nice places. Last car that's parked in my house is the FJ Cruiser. That thing is just waiting until the Raptor build is complete and then that will be retired and sold to somebody that'll give it a fun, adventurous life. Um, so uh, those of you that have emailed me, I haven't got back to you on selling it. That's just because I'm waiting. I'm gonna make an announcement on the channel when it's for sale and then everybody can email me and I'll try and respond to as many as I possibly can.
So that's it. Other than secret cars that I've bought without you guys knowing that I haven't told you about yet, that is my car collection at the moment. Got about 13 cars, I think. Maybe 14. My car insurance is insane. All right guys, that is the 2019 garage update. Now I don't normally do garage update videos because there's no work involved in them and it feels cheap, but there are just a lot of people that have joined uh, the channel and started watching since we started on the GTR, which is only like three cars ago. What am I right? But if you did see anything here that kind of piqued your interest as we were going over it, um, all of these builds have a story. All of these builds were done here by us. Um, and if, if you're interested, every single one has a playlist down below. Some of those playlists are ordered backwards, and for that I apologize. I'm, I'm in the process of working on that. YouTuber technical difficulties. But um, if, if you saw something you didn't know we had and you want to see how we built it, uh, go check it out. Go find the playlist and, and, uh, and grab some popcorn. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.